Alright guys, welcome back to JForce Gaming and probably you have heard of uh, this term called GPS Spoofer Alright, basically it allows you to, you know, change your location on your phone Alright, without the need of you being at that location Well, this can be particularly helpful Alright, for geolocation based games Alright, or like um, Tinder or Snapchat Alright, if you don't want your friends or you want your friends to know Alright, where you are or don't know where you are Alright, and most of the location changer requires your phone to be either geobroken or being routed Well, today I'm going to show you a way where you guys can change the location on your phone without the need all right, to jailbreak or root your phone for both iOS and Android. And it is with the help of this software right here. All right? So this is the Mac phone location changer and this thing is really, really awesome. All right? So yeah, I've been using this to change my location on my Snapchat so I don't want my friends to know where I am. All right? And also I use this sometime to play like geolocation based games as well. And it's really, really cool because I can do it at the comfort of my own home in front of my PC so I can be anywhere I want in the world and this thing is really safe really reliable and don't have any issues with my phone um, when I change my location and after you know switching back to my own GPS on my phone all right, I don't have any issues with them at all all right and my wound my phone works perfectly, all right, and, and uh, yeah, it's really safe and um, it's really, really awesome. So right now, I'm gonna show you guys the software itself, and then after that, I'm gonna do a quick demonstration on the different kinds of modes that you can do, all right, to change your location on your phone. And without further ado, let me just go ahead and show you the software itself. Let's go. All right, so this is the software itself. All right, as you guys can see, it's pretty simple. All right, you just need to um, accept the terms of service. I click on start and select your device. So right now I have my Samsung phone, all right, um, connected to it, all right. So this thing also works both the same on iPhone as well. You just need to connect your iPhone to the PC. All right, but today I'll be demonstrating on my Samsung phone. All right, as you guys can see, all right, I just need to select my phone right over here. Alright, and uh, yeah, this one can also do on Wi-Fi, but it's only available on iOS as well. Alright, but uh, yeah, if you are using on Android, unfortunately, you have to use the cable version. Alright, but you once you have connected it, just click on next. Alright, um, before you start, I think you will have to you know, enable USB debugging and enable developer option, but this software will let you go, will go through the um, the thing for you. Alright, so if you um, select this device, alright, it will ask me to, you know, uh, they will show the steps on how to enable developer option. So you don't have to worry about that. Alright, but my Samsung phone, I already enabled develop option and USB debugging. So, um, yeah, so you can choose between the game mode or the general mode. So if you're playing like those, um, you know, geolocation based games, you can definitely choose the game mode. Alright, they will have um, some features tuned. Um, for that particular game, so it's really really cool. All right, but I'm gonna use the general mode, which I'm gonna demonstrate on my Google Maps itself. All right, so I just need to click on the general mode. All right, this is mainly like for Google Maps, um, Snapchat, or any other, you know, um, location like Live 360 and such. All right, that's not game based. All right, so you guys can see this is my current location. Maybe I can make the map bigger. Okay, so I make the map bigger easier for you guys to see. Alright, so um yeah, so I can do so right now I am on this change location mode. Basically it's so called like a teleport mode. Alright, so I can click on any location I want in the map itself, like probably here. Alright, I want to be in the water. Okay, I just need to click on that. Alright, I just bring this menu up on the top left. Alright, you guys can see this is the selected place I want, this is my current location. So uh yeah, you can also can favor it or I can remove it. You can see a distance. Alright, once you're okay with it, just click on start modifying. All right, don't remind me again. All right, and you can see location modified. And on my Google Maps itself, all right, I have my location is changed. You can see it's back to the same location as mine. And this type of mode, all right, and or basically this software in general, all right, you can don't need to limit it to like your country. So for example, you want to be in other country, you can zoom out. All right, I want to be in probably like in like um, Russia. I need to click on that. You guys can see. All right, the total distance and click on start modifying. All right, you guys can see my my location has been modified. If I press again, you guys can see like right now on my Google Maps is showing my location is in Russia. So yes, you can change to any country you want in the world. It's not only limited to your own country. So it's really really cool. But uh, let me just switch back to my country right over here. Let me just teleport back. Right, as you can see, I have been teleported back. So yeah, this is the teleport mode. You can um, yeah, just jump wherever you want. All right, let's just talk about the next one is the two spot movement mode. So what does this spot movement mode is? All right, this is a really interesting one. All right, so for example, I'm, let me just select a random location right over here. 
Alright, you guys can see this is uh, want to be around this area over here. Alright. Okay, so this one comes with this extra menu over here. Alright, you guys can select the number of times you want to travel, or right, it's a round trip. Alright, but um, I'm making a simple single trip. So round trip you'll go and come back. Alright, you can select the speed I want. I'll just put it at driving speed. Alright, you can have uniform speed or variable speed. So uniform speed means it will stay at about 100 kilometer per hour. If you go variable speed, it will vary varies within like 90 to 110 kilometer per hour. So it will show it much um uh, much realistic, alright. So but I'm gonna leave it at uniform speed, okay, and then go click on plan route. So this two spot mode right, it will actually plan the actual route. Can you see this blue line over here? Yeah, you will plan an actual route from your point to the end point. It's really cool as you guys can see. All right, this is the route that is planned for you. Click on start moving, it will start following the plan plan route. So you guys can see it's moving with the plan route. As you guys can see on my phone itself, it is also moving. So it's really, really cool. Alright, so um yeah, so you can plan the actual route for you to make it more realistic. Alright, uh, let me just teleport to somewhere first. Okay, let me just teleport over here. Right, let me just show you another area again. So for me right now I'm here. Alright, I want to go to Sangri La Hotel Singapore. So I just need to click uh, maybe uh, riding speed. Alright, just click on plan route. And you can see they actually plan a route from where I am to the Sangri La Hotel Singapore. So it's right over here. And you guys can see on the Google Maps itself, alright. So I start moving. And uh I'm I'm moving. So I'm actually you know, going to the highway. You guys can see the route going to the highway, go through here, go into here, turn right, go straight. So it's really really cool. You can do that on this as well. You can pause it anytime you want. You will just pause at where I am. Alright. So yeah, this is the two spot mode. Really, really cool mode. All right, and the next one is the this one is the uh, multi spot movement mode. So what does this do do? All right, it's pretty similar to the two spot mode, but this one, all right, can have multiple waypoints. So you can add like one point here. Like right, I see number one, you can add another one over here, another one over here, another one over here. All right, so uh, the cool thing about this is you can add a lot of points, a lot of waypoints. You can see all the points that you have. All right, so you can visit a uh, few locations at the same time. Alright, and um, yeah, you can see on top here, they have straight mode and navigation mode. Straight mode means, you know, it will travel from point A to the first point in a straight direction. You just cut through all the buildings, etc, etc. Same as the two swap mode, you can also select the speed as well, uniform speed. Alright, it will just start moving in the straight, the straight line, you guys can see. Alright, but, alright, if I want, you can put, let's say I put multiple points again. Alright, let me just put a few points here again. Okay, and if I switch to navigation mode, all right, and I can click on plan route, and you guys can see they plan an actual route similar to two spot movement mode. All right, you plan actual route, and you will go from all right point A, where you are to point one, and the actual route from point one to point two and point three. So it's not cutting through building; it's an actual route. So it's making it looks more realistic. All right, so yeah, you guys can see pretty cool all right so uh right now i'm gonna show you guys the next one which is called the jump teleport mode what are these two this mode means is the same as the multi-spot movement mode but instead of moving in the straight line or in the direction all right i'm gonna put four points here as well all right i just need to click on you can have a cool down after that if you don't if you want to to make it more realistic if you don't want you can just um leave it i'm just leave it on all right you can select a number of times like a round trip I'm gonna leave it as one trip. Alright, click on start moving. Alright, it will teleport to the first point. You can see it just teleports basically. So it's very similar to the first first mode that teleports around, but you can add maybe like one location here, one location in this country, one location in that country, so you can just jump around different country. Alright. Once you're done, just click on next point and then you jump to the next point, you click on get, you'll jump to the next point again. Alright, click on that and jump to the next point and then you'll finish off. That's all. Alright. So it is that simple. So you'll jump between different points the same. So you can add multiple waypoints to teleport. Alright, all at once. Alright, and the last one is pretty much self-explanatory. So this one is called the joystick movement mode. What does this do is basically you can select the speed. Alright, I'm gonna put it as a higher speed. Alright, my selected is variable speed, so the speed will change. I click on start moving. Alright, you guys can see. Alright, on the map itself, I am moving and on the left top, you guys can see over there. Alright, the uh, left, bottom left, you guys can see if I switch my joystick, my direction will move. You guys can see, as you guys can see, 
Alright, so on, on my GPS is also moving at the uh, at the direction my joystick is facing. So it's basically joystick mode. You can control freely where you want to go. You can also use your arrow keys to control it. I'm using my arrow keys right now. You guys can see. Alright, you guys, you guys can hear the keyboard clicking. Alright, so I'm using my arrow keys as well. So you can use your arrow keys to control it as well. Really, really awesome. Alright, I'll just stop for now. Alright, and uh, yeah, so this is a joystick mode. You can control it freely wherever you want. Alright, and um, if you guys can see on here, over here, you guys can see these few things over here. Yeah, these few icons, okay, okay, I see, yeah, all these few things here. Alright, so um, yeah, this one you can collect multiple devices. Alright, so you can control multiple devices at once. Really cool, so you have multiple devices, you can use them to control all. Alright, you can also have see your favorites and history, uh, where you have traveled to, and you can add to favorites, and you will show in your favorites, alright. Really cool, you can use it, so if you use it, you will you will you know get back so it's saved where you have been to all right this one is gpx file so you can export it and send it to your friend and your friend using this same software they can import it and they can you know visit the same location or route as you all right they also have this one is the current location this one is like a restore to true coordinate so you'll restore your phone back to its own coordinate all right and uh, right now you can zoom in zoom out and use your scroll wheel all right and if if there is like some place you don't know you don't know where is it on the map, probably like you know you know the address but you don't know where is it on the map. You, know, you don't know how to find it. Alright, you can just enter the um, address or the GPS coordinate. If you know the coordinate, the longitude and latitude. If you don't know, you can just always type in the name. So probably if I want to visit, you know, Changi Airport. Alright, Changi Airport. Alright, you can see terminal one, Changi Airport. Alright, so this is the Changi Airport right over here. So you can also teleport to here. So you can search it up on the address. So it's really, really convenient. So that uh, any location you want to search, you can search it. Okay. You can search like you know Norway as well. There we go, Norway. All right, which is like, yeah. So I can teleport all the way from here to Norway. All right, if I want to. All right. Yeah, but um, but uh, yeah. Let me see. So. Okay, I, I can't plan a road because there's no road actually from there you take plane. Alright, but uh, yeah, you can see. Alright, you can search anywhere, any country, anywhere, everywhere. Alright, so it's pretty, pretty cool. Alright, so yeah. So once you're done with this, alright, like see, now my phone is um, according to this software GPS location. So if I want my phone to back to where I am right now, alright, I just have to quit this or I can just go back. Alright, just quit this whole software itself. Alright. And after that, if I press again. Alright. I'm gonna just wait a while and bam. Alright. I am back home again. You guys can see now I'm recording this in my home. So so yeah, so I am back to my home again. So my GPS has been returned back to normal. So once you quit this software, alright, your GPS will return back to normal and can use it normally. All right, it's, it's, it won't be like stuck there at where it is. All right, so it's really, really awesome, really convenient, and really safe. So it doesn't affect your phone, it doesn't damage your phone, and you don't even need to jailbreak it at all. So it's it's a win-win situation. So yeah, if you guys want to check out this software, I'll link them the first link in the video description down below for you guys to check it out. All right, don't miss out on this really cool opportunity and this software definitely support Mac as well. So if you're using on the Mac and not Windows, you can use this software as well. It's really, really awesome. And you know, you can just do it at the comfort of your own home. Your phone, once you quit, you return back to normal. And you know, the best part is you don't have to jailbreak your phone, root your phone, because most of those GPS spoofing requires you to jailbreak or root, which can um, damage your device or, you know, um, make your device vulnerable to like security threats and such. Right, so this is a really, really safe and easy way to hide your location, spoof your location, or go anywhere you want in the world at the comfort of your own home. So once again, if you want to check out this Mac phone location unlocker, you guys can check out the first link in the video description down below and go ahead and try it out for yourself. So that's all for today, guys. And if you find this video really interesting and really helpful, you helpful, all right, you guys can let me know in the comment section as well. And without further ado, this is JFOS Gaming, and I shall see you guys in my next video. Peace out. I don't wanna cry.